to start with your famous maxim about what is true in the province of the mind. Could you begin by In the province of mind, what one believes to be true either is true or becomes true within certain limits. These limits are to be found experimentally and experientially. And so found, these limits turn out to be full of beliefs to be transcended. In the province of mind, there are no limits. However, in the province of the body, there are definite limits not to be transcended. You've probably devoted your your whole life, and certainly many decades recently, to, to pushing to see, you know, what what really were the limits. Right. Going into new realities, taking on the belief systems of those realities, and then and coming back to your basic working reality and challenging those beliefs, integrating those beliefs with, with your own. In, in your writings, you've explored uh, almost every state of consciousness I could imagine, the various mystical levels of Satori, communication with extraterrestrials, communication with, with other species. You've established probably a, 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 a more significant mapping of, of inner space than, than almost any other modern, modern person, and I think we all owe a, a great debt to you for that. The day of sacrifice, I was born in the world. <laughs> it's impossible. So the thing is in your mind. I think that's the, the beauty of your work is, is that you keep moving further and further, further and further out. In the center of the cyclone, you described as a state, uh, in fact, you had a whole system, of, uh, virtually a quantitative system for mapping states of consciousness. And you talked about one that I, I found most fascinating, which you call plus three, mega sat satori. And in, in that state, you describe going so far out of your body, and even out of the physical universe, to the point of being at the, at the level of essence in which the physical universe is, is created. Right. Uh, that almost seemed to me, in reading that book, like an ultimate state of consciousness, but I know you wrote about it some 15 years ago. How does it look to you now? Well, if one state beyond plus two, that's plus one. But you're not allowed to remember that once you go into it, there's room with God. It's a true yoga. And so you're not human. So there's no way you can account what happened. There's no way of saying it. It's just beyond that. All those states are beyond that. That was a very poor answer to express it. You've described in, in some of your other writings language as being a, a film, a thin film that, that separates us from reality, really. As, as much as we try to use language to describe what, what we mean, it really puts barriers up. Well, I mean, there's one use of language that's spelled. That's the injunctive use, telling you how to do something. The descriptive uh, language is very poor. And William James said it. No other way is a separate from this one, but the fullness of screens. And I found this screen is the um, So we have to bend it and the same ways. In addition to plus one and, and plus three, you've mapped out plus six. Uh, that's a state of consciousness, as I recall, in which the mind can travel to any point. Yeah. In physical or non-physical space. But you maintain your individuality. Mm -hmm. That must be a, a basic mode of, of, a, of a psychic explorer. I, I gather from reading much of your work that you spent a great deal of time in plus six. Right, never in plus twelve. Mm -hmm. uh, plus twelve was the uh, plus for the idiot. The only body we all hear now, the idiot is happy. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell us about this man. You can feel energy moving in and out of the different sighting centers of the body. There's a big crowd of it. I could have two crowds. Mm -hmm. But um, that's not much use. Unless you get any personal in the same space. And many of the your mystical teachings warn against getting stuck in some of these realities. Yes. I've known many of them since that uh, time. Mm -hmm. When you also refer to, in, in the mapping of states, I suppose the plus 48, which is sort of a, a perfectly neutral state. Mm -hmm. Plus 24 is the, uh, the first state. Mm -hmm. Then it 
discipline to them. They were lost in discipline. Four years for communicating with them in the United States. But uh, I got a good one. No, but at one point you, you wrote about the importance of going into the minus states and, and remaining perfectly aware, being conscious in those negative states, not trying to block out the negativity. And you described that, as I recall, as burning karma. Yes. And then there's a, in Sarah's library, in a chapter called um, The Guided Tour of Hell, which was minus, uh, minus six.